Hey guys, it's Arika Misha, and today we are cooking shrimp fritters and hush puppies. Cute, quick meal. I know it sounds a little complicated, but it's quick and easy. Because y'all know how I do it. Quick and easy and get you out the kitchen. Because I ain't got all day. So, alright. So I got everything laid out here. I'll go through with you guys what I have here so you guys know what uh, ingredients I'm using. Quick, easy ingredients I'm sure everybody pretty much got in their house. Um, okay, so as far as what I'm going to be putting in my um, fritters, um, I do have some diced yellow uh, onions. Already diced and cut up for you. I like those. I just cut them a little smaller. And then I have the tri-pepper mix, which is the red, green, and yellow pepper mix. And like I said, it's already cut up for you. It's already, you know, diced and chopped up for you. All right, let me move those. And as you guys can see, I just, just cut them up a little smaller. All right, so we got our, um, the tri-peppers. I did half a cup of those. And I did half a cup of the onions. All right, I have one egg. And I have chopped up shrimp. I already have the pre-cooked shrimp. I just chopped them into little bits, as you guys can see, because I'm making fritters. Now, if you guys are familiar with conk fritters, uh, I also uh, make those. I'm sure you guys are probably familiar with the conk fritters. I'll have to make those for the channel. I don't know if I have already or not, but oh well. Yeah, I have to make those, but uh, today we're cooking shrimp fritters, and these are the same thing as the conk fritters, but we're using shrimp, shrimp fritters. So we got the pre-cooked shrimp chopped up already. Um, I've got a cup of flour back here. I've got, no, two cups of flour, and I have one cup of milk. This is my little bootleg recipe, y'all. I've been tweaking it and tweaking it. Every time I make it, I want to change something up, so this is it. I mean, it's, it's been final for a while. <clears throat> All right, got some Old Bay. I got some Creole seasoning. I got the Old Bay. Y'all know what I say, because he a Old Bay. <laughs> All right, and I got some chili powder. Um, I got some garlic powder. And we got some onion powder. And as you guys can see, I'll be using the Savannah Classic Hush Puppies. I really like these. They taste really good. Because everybody Hush Puppies don't taste quite right to me. Um, you know, for what I'm used to uh, having, like the homemade hush puppies. But the Savannah Classic, this is about as close as you're going to get, my opinion, how I feel. Alright, and I have two bags of those. Alright, what else? Okay, so I did write down the recipe for y'all in case I forget to type it in the description box, which I just might forget to do that. So, yeah, I wrote it down for y'all. Just so y'all can have it. Make sure y'all get a good... Make sure y'all can see that. Make sure y'all take a cute cream, uh, cream screenshot of that. Hopefully y'all can see it. I don't know y'all, that might be backwards. Whatever. Alright, so the ingredients. Uh, chopped shrimp, one cup of whole milk, two cups of flour, one egg, one cup of green pepper, red peppers, you know, the tri-mix, onions, and sometimes I use celery, but today I ain't had no celery, so I ain't using no celery. But, um, like I said, I did half a cup of the tri peppers, half a cup of onions. So, you know, that gives you one full cup. All right. Um, and I'm going to use a tablespoon of each of my seasonings. I might do an extra uh, tablespoon of the chili powder because I like to have a little spice. But then again, I might not. So, now nah, we're just going to do one tablespoon of each. Don't do too much. Don't do too much. Don't do too much. All right. So, yep. That's that. So, let's go ahead. Let's get this all mixed in a bowl. I'm ready. I'm going right in. I'm getting right into it today. Let's go. All right, so let's move our hush puppies. We'll get, we'll get those together. Y'all got to move. Let me show y'all the hush puppies. They so cute. And they so seasoned. They season so good. I'll show y'all the hush puppies when I, when I trade those up. All right, so I got me a big bowl. I like having a nice, it's like a medium mix bowl. I like dumping everything in my bowl and mixing it all up. So I like putting it in a big bowl so I can make sure everything gets mixed real good. All right, so our one cup of milk. Well, let's go ahead and do our two cups of flour first. Two cups of flour. I'm just putting it all in here. Just put it all in there, child, and then mix it up. You ain't nothing fancy. Just dump it all in. Okay, so we got uh, one cup, uh, two cups of flour, or one cup of milk. We got our half a cup of peppers. 
try peppers. Half a cup of our yellow onions. All right, let's do our seasons and then I'll put it away. Nope, let's do this egg. It ain't no particular order. Just put it all in there, child. Just put it all in there and mix it up. And that's it, you got your patty mix. All right, so we're gonna do one, one tablespoon of Old Bay, cause he a Old Bay. Child. One tablespoon of Old Bay. We just gonna dabble that in there, mix that on up in there. One tablespoon. All right. I'm gonna do one tablespoon of my Creole seasoning. I'm adding that. Like I tell y'all, I'm always tweaking this recipe, but I added this last time. So the way that I have my recipe now is, is how I want it. It's the final. Final recipe. I don't have nothing else to tweak. All right, so we got that in there, our Creole season. And now, ooh. Bless me, Lord. Bless me. Goodness. Three sneezes. Bless you. I hope y'all said bless you out there. That's all right. I ain't got to bless me. God will bless me. All right. So, we got, we're going to do one tablespoon. Yeah, I'm just going to do one tablespoon of the chili powder. Because I don't want them too spicy. You know, with my girls. They like spicy stuff, but not too spicy. And one tablespoon is good enough. That's good enough. All right. So... One tablespoon of the uh, chili powder. One tablespoon. <clears throat> <coughs> All these seasonings, child. <coughs> Choking me up. All right, so we're doing our tablespoon of onion powder. <clears throat> All right, and one tablespoon of our garlic powder. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So we got all our seasonings in there. However you choose to season up your mix, that's up to you. You know, to each its own. All right. So I got everything in there. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. And then I like, now one thing I do, I put everything together and then I do add my shrimp last. I like to get everything mixed up and then add those shrimps. Make sure y'all can see Mix it in up. Bring y'all down a little bit. See if I can bring y'all over so y'all can see better. Okay. So the people can see better. <clears throat> it becomes like a, like a thick, you know, like a thick, flowery, kind of pasty kind of thing. Kind of mix. So good. I love making my shrimp fritters. I'm telling you. One time I made my shrimp fritters three days in a row. Now y'all know that's a mess. But I love my shrimp fritters. They so good. I like conch fritters too. But I hate when people be making them conch fritters and they don't put enough conch in it. Oh, I can't stand that. Don't give you a lot of conch. Just give you a little bit of conch. But conch is so expensive. That's why people don't buy a lot of it for their fritters. You know, shrimp is cheaper. So I realize shrimp fritters, you can get more. You get more uh, shrimp in there. I don't really like buying conch either. It's expensive. I'd rather do shrimp fritters. Pretty much tastes the same to me. Okay, so y'all see how we got it all mixed? And it's like thick. See, it's like sticking to the fork. It's not watery. It's not milky or nothing. It's not that kind of a paste. Now we got to add these shrimps in here. All right, let me get a different mixing spoon. I think I'm gonna do, uh, I think I'll do my spatula. Let me wash it off. All right. Okay. Let's move this fork. All right, so let me make sure I get everything mixed up real good. Then we're gonna go ahead and add these shrimps in here into our mix. Yes, make sure we got everything mixed up at the bottom. Make sure you're scraping your bottom for your mix. Okay, let's add our shrimp. Make sure you get all your stuff, all your stuff that you paid for. All your stuff. 
Just gonna mix our shrimp in. Now our shrimp gonna add a little more, a little bit more moisture, but that's fine. Still gonna be thick. And with this mix, I can make quite a uh, quite a bit of fritters. Like I can make a, a lot of fritters with this mix. Cause I don't make big fritters. I make you know little cute small ones. Y'all see? See, we're just mixing it all up in there. Like they say, fold in your shrimps. Fold in the shrimps into your mix. Fold the shrimps in there. As I fold the shrimps into the mix, try stir them shrimps in there. Make sure they get all mixed up. Oh, I like having a lot of shrimp in mine, y'all. Oh, that looks delicious. All right. Nice, mixed in real good. All right. Y'all see the mix? Take y'all in so y'all can see the mix real good. It smells amazing with all those seasonings in it and stuff. Look at those big chunks of shrimp I got in there, y'all. Mm. This it. That's it, y'all. I just wanted the main focus to be on the, the mix. And y'all see how it look, how it's supposed to look. That's it. All right. I'll be back to show y'all how we're going to fry these up. All right, guys. I'm getting ready to pan up my hush puppies. Got my small pan here. Well, it's like a medium pan. Spraying it with my old faithful canola oil. I'm going to go ahead and get these open. And these are easy. These are quick and easy. And you know what? You can cook these anytime you want some hush puppies. You can just take a, a couple out or, you know, cook them all at the same time. However you want to do it. Like sometimes I just like fixing these hush puppies. And it, hush, I like to fix these hush puppies. And, um, you know, like a little cute little quick meal for me. I'll throw them on a pan, put them in the oven, or the air fryer. Air fryer is quicker. Just throw them in that air fryer real quick, cook you up some. That's a cute little meal for me. Two packs. And they give you a lot in each pack. Let me show y'all what they look like. They're really good, nice size, and you can see the seasoning and everything they got in the Hush Puppies. Look at all that goodness. You can see all that goodness. I make sure everybody nice and flat so everybody can get cooked evenly. Put some oil across the top. Because remember, your oil helps your food cook. So, I'm going to put these in the oven. Uh, I've done I've cooked these a million times. 425 degrees in the oven. They usually take about 15 minutes. I like for them to get, you know, hard and crunchy. Not too hard now. But, yeah, we're going to have the shrimp fritters and the hush puppies. So good with some ketchup and hot sauce. What? All right, the stove ready. Let me go ahead and get these in the oven. Our hush puppies, le hush puppies, puppies of le hush. <laughs> oh, try to crack myself up. But all right, so let me go ahead and get these in the oven, and then we'll be back. I'll be back to show y'all how we're gonna um fry up our fritters. All right, guys, I think my oil is nice and hot. And today I'm gonna use my one inch ice cream scooper to scoop my mix out. That way I know I can kind of keep my fritters all the same size. And yes, my oil is nice and hot. And I'm just gonna kind of smash them down like this with my, um, the top of the ice cream scooper. I don't know where all that came from. But yeah, I'm gonna make like little cute little fritters. I'm telling y'all, I'm always changing up the size of my fritters. I just like to make them different. As you can see, our oil is nice and hot, and I'm just gonna push them down a little bit. This way, your fritters all have that same little cute shape. So I like using my ice cream scooper sometimes. Sometimes I use a bigger spoon. Sometimes I do them in a ball. That turns out cute. You know, and they look like the hush puppies. They kind of like a ball, like the hush puppy. And see, doing it this way, I get quite a bit of fritters. Mm. 
These are so good, y'all. I love these shrimp fritters. I love them. Like I told y'all, one day I cooked them. Let me take y'all in so y'all can see. One day I um cooked them three days in a row. We cut my heat down. We need it too hot and popping. And they cook fast. See, I'm just gonna flip it over. They cook really fast. You get me a fork to help flip them over. They cook real fast, y'all. You just flip them over. And they're already ready already. I can cook a batch of these in no time. See? Just that quick. I'll let that other side brown. I'm gonna let that other side brown and as y'all can see I've got my rack over here let me take y'all in so y'all can see them they so cute nice and golden brown y'all they cook really fast so I cook a whole batch in like five minutes y'all saw how quick they cook all nice and hot I'm gonna flip those over and take them out and you see I got my rack over here let me show y'all my rack I'm just gonna sit them on top of that so they can be nice and they're gonna keep their crisp I'm not gonna put them on a napkin because the oil drops on the napkin from when I take them out and it makes them a little soggy. So, see how I got my rack over there and the uh, napkin underneath, that'll catch the oil. This way they stay nice and crispy. All right, y'all, let me go ahead and get them cooked up. And when I come back, y'all, gonna, it's gonna be the grand finale. All right, guys, this is our grand finale. Our hush puppies look amazing. Yes, some of the hush puppies are missing because yes, I had some. Like I said, it's my food. I can eat it if I want to. And yes, my shrimp fritters, yes, there's some missing because I had to taste them. Taking y'all in, nice fried shrimp fritters. They look so good and they taste so good. Just so y'all know. Yeah, they taste good. All right, y'all. This is Arika Misha. You seen me do it, so you know I did it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.